She's always been more than just a pretty face. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Meryl Streep performances. For this list, we're taking a look at those performances from this iconic actor that have set the standard for excellence in the field. While Streep has been at the whole acting thing for longer than most of us can remember, she hasn't lost her edge. She set the record for most Academy Award nominations, and with these performances, we can totally see why. And I have brought this all on myself because I was a stupid, reckless little slut. Number 10, Karen Blixen, Out of Africa. I'm Baroness Blixen. Not yet. Set in British East Africa during the early 1900s, this movie sees Streep play a colonialist looking for happiness and love. And her performance as the Danish Baroness earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. Did you think you would spend the night? Based on the life of a real-life author, Streep's character enters a marriage of convenience, falls in love with another man, and seems to have horrendous luck overall. She almost had me for lunch! Well, it wasn't her fault, Baroness. She's a lion. Well, it wasn't mine. Demonstrating a sex appeal we'd not yet seen, Streep's chemistry with co-star Robert Redford is the stuff of epic romance and right at home in this beautifully shot drama. Don't move. Number 9. Sister Aloysius Bouvier, Doubt. What's this, Mr. Conroy? I don't know, sister. You don't know? You have a wire coming out of your ear? Streep delivers an amazing and Oscar-nominated performance as a strict nun and a no-nonsense principal of a New York Catholic school. I love this song. With Streep at her stripped down and intimidating best, the film focuses on what her character perceives as an inappropriate relationship between a church priest and one of the school children. The boy acted strangely when he returned to class. He did. When he returned from the rectory a little odd, yes. After receiving word of the potential abuse from a fellow nun, Streep's character is relentless in her pursuit of the truth, and she owns every scene she's in in this emotional and dialogue-heavy film. This is not about my behavior, no, it's about yours. this is yours. about your unfounded suspicions. That's right. I Just have Just leave suspicions. that. It's not important. I will decide what's important. Number eight. Susan Orlean, Adaptation. Mr. Maroche, I'm Susan Orlean. I'm a writer for The New Yorker. It's a magazine that- I'm familiar with The New Yorker. Streep took a pay cut to be part of this production, and the result is one of her most fun recent performances. Yeah, that's, that's right. In yet another Oscar-nominated role, she plays the author of a book that Nick Cage's character is attempting to turn into a screenplay. While gathering content for her novel, she eventually falls for the man she was researching and ends up far from her highbrow lifestyle. The film may be a trip down meta lane with a Charlie Kaufman twist, but Streep elevates her part from side character to captivating focus. You're getting a little emotional, and you don't know what to- I can't have him writing about me. I can't have the whole world, all the people knowing about us and about, about this. Number seven, Francesca Johnson, the Bridges of Madison County. You know, I get the distinct feeling that I'm lost. Are you supposed to be in Iowa? Yeah. Well then, you're not that lost. There are secrets in every family. And in this film, Streep plays a woman with a secret of her own. Francesca. What? What? We're not doing anything wrong, you know. She's a married Iowa mom who falls in love with a man while he's in the state on a photography assignment. I was just picking you some flowers. Oh. Men still do that, don't they? I'm not out of date, am I? I've been picking flowers for a woman, a sign of appreciation? No, not at all. Except those are poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Not a typical film for Streep, and especially not for her co-star and director Clint Eastwood. It's romantic and dramatic and sensual without being tawdry. And Streep's performance as a conflicted homemaker having an extramarital affair landed her a Best Actress Oscar nomination. What Richard and I shared would vanish if we were apart. 
But how I wanted to share this. How would our lives have changed if I had? Number six, Margaret Thatcher, The Iron Lady. If I can't go out to buy a pint of milk, what is the world coming to really go? She was a controversial historical figure brought to life by the genius of Streep's performance. I'm going to run for leader of the party. As Thatcher, Streep manages to touch into the hard-willed personality and divisive politics that shrouded Thatcher's tenure as British Prime Minister. And she masterfully avoids falling into the trap of caricature. But for some of my colleagues to imagine me as their leader, it would be like imagining, I don't know, being led into battle by their chambermaid. That's my background and my sex. While the film may not have been critically lauded and was criticized for presenting a neutral opinion of its central character, Streep's turn as the much-reviled leader was impressive enough to land her another Oscar for Best Actress, 29 years after her first win. There are those who would say, hold back. There are those who would make us retreat. But we shall never give in to them. We shall never waver, not for a second. Number five, Julia Child, Julie and Julia. Oh my goodness. <gasps> You have to taste this. As the highly regarded chef of French cuisine, Streep brings effervescence to a part that could have been a parody. When you flip anything, you've just got to have the courage of your convictions, especially if it's a loose sort of mass, like, oh, that didn't go very well. The film centers on Amy Adams' character as she attempts every recipe in Child's mastering the art of French cooking over the course of a year. The day there's a meteorite heading toward the Earth and we have 30 days to live, I am going to spend it eating butter. The film navigates between both women's perspectives, with Streep playing child during her time at Le Cordon Bleu, as well as her rise to fame. With great charisma, authority, and a spot-on accent, Streep succeeds in making this an entertaining culinary romp that earned her another Oscar nod. What do you think? Well, this... Point. I have no idea whatsoever. Julia, that won't do. Oh, all right then. I love it. Number four, Miranda Priestley, The Devil Wears Prada. Before today, you had never heard of me. No. And you have no style or sense of fashion. Well, um, I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. The world of fashion is not for the weak-willed, at least not according to this film. Street plays a major fashion figurehead who's based enough on a certain Vogue editor that major fashion houses were afraid to include their pieces in the film. Well, we know everyone in publishing. It shouldn't be a problem, should it? And you can do anything, right? And judging by Streep's turn as the tough-as-nails, soul-crushing but fabulous fashion editor Miranda Priestley, they were right to be afraid. Emily? Yes? That's all. However, even though Streep kept her unsympathetic persona alive when the cameras weren't rolling, she still managed to make her inflexible character a complex one that yielded her another Oscar nod. To this, there is no one that can do what I do. Number three. Joanna Kramer, Kramer versus Kramer. Here's my American Express card. Here's my Bloomingdale's credit card. Here's my checkbook. I've taken $2,000 out of our savings account because that's what I had in the bank when we first got married. Was this some kind of job? Here's the cleaning. Here's the laundry ticket. You can pick them both up on Saturday. This emotional family drama pits parent against parent as they struggle through a messy divorce and custody battle. Please, please don't make me go in there. Don't make me go in there. If you do, I swear, one day, next week, maybe next year, I don't know. I'll go right out the window. Street plays the mother who, after leaving her workaholic husband, child, and unfulfilling marriage, returns to claim guardianship of their son. I want my son. You can't have him. The film itself is a gut-wrenching look at the effects of a bitter divorce, and Streep's performance as an emotionally conflicted mother helped shape her future as an Oscar powerhouse by winning her her first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. I came here to take my son home. <laughs> I 
And I realize he already is home. I love him very much. <laughs> Number two, Karen Silkwood, Silkwood. Karen, could you explain the procedures in this glove box? Yeah. What we're doing is we're blending and mixing the plutonium and uh, uranium oxide into correct ratios, and then we uh, sift it for impurities. In this 80s drama, Streep again displays her versatility by disappearing into the role of an eccentric whistleblower at a nuclear power plant. What if we wrote the National Union, told them what's going on down here, maybe they'd help us. Based on actual events, the film tells the story of the titular character who was planning to make unsafe labor practices at the Kermagee plutonium plant public. Hey, hey, don't take those. This is my kid's pictures. Karen. Oh, Karen. don't let them take my Karen. baby's pictures. Oh, if you're going to stand here and watch, you're going to have to stand back now. Mr. Hurley, they're taking everything. As the story unfolds, we're given glimpses into her personal life, with Streep managing to add layers of complexity to her character, while she also conveys a sense of vulnerability as well as dogged determination to do the right thing. And bring that reporter from the New York Times. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. You got the documents? Come on down. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. But what other time could it have come from the Look, baby? Mr. Barker, I wasn't there. I can only go on the evidence of my own eyes. We're talking about my baby daughter. Why don't we go to bed? Can't we just comfort each other? I think you're courageous. Courageous? Why? To dare go visit. What I mean is to face the fact that we have lost those feelings forever. What have they ever done for their daughter? Huh? Donna, Donna, they didn't know she exists. Well, they didn't need to know, did they? I've done a great job with Sofal by myself, and I won't be muscled out by an ejaculation. Number one, Sophie Zavistovsky, Sophie's Choice. I need you like death. Hear me! Oh, like death! No, no, no. Go back to Krakow, baby. <laughs> back to Krakow! Probably one of the saddest films ever made, the story focuses on a Polish immigrant and her tumultuous life after settling in America following World War II. I'm very so sorry. That's not the way he, he really is, you know? Streep masters this role as a long-tormented woman who survived a concentration camp, but was forced to make the most difficult decision of her life. I kept repeating to myself, I have saved my son, I have saved my son. It was a role wrought with emotional turmoil, and it's a story not easily forgotten thanks in large part to Streep's Oscar-winning performance. At times lively and sexy, at others wistful and emotional, Streep's perfectly pitched performance and accent are both natural and heartbreaking. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is Meryl Streep's best performance? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. That's all.